Hello everyone. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to see the reset function. Then we will see that how to uh, convert 1D array into 2D array using the reshape. Then we will see that how to convert 2D arrays into 1D array using reshape. And then we will see the seed function. And after that, we will see that how to create 1D and 2D array by taking input from the user. So let's get started. So first we'll import the numpy library and we'll give an alias name that is np then we will create a random array so for that we'll use we want to create a random array of integers so i want to take the numbers from 1 to 50 and I want total elements to be 12. And when I'll, I'll execute the code, you will see that the numbers are from 1 to 50 and total number of elements are 12. Now, this is an 1D array. So when we'll check its dimension, you'll see it is 1. Okay. Now, when I want to convert this 1D array into two dimensional array, so what I can do. I will just simply reshape it using the reshape function. I'll just reshape it. And, and I'll get 2 comma 6. So I want two rows and six columns. And I will store it in a different variable, uh, ARR1 variable. And when I will call our new variable, so you will see that our 1D array, which is this array, has been converted into a 2D array of two columns and, uh, sorry, two rows and six columns. So we can check its dimension also. So it is two dimensional. And we can check the dimension of the earlier uh, array also, that is ARR. So it is one dimensional and the newly created array is of two dimensional. So this is how we can convert 1D array into two dimensional array. Now we can convert the this 2D array into again a 1D array. Then how we can do that? We will again use the reshape and we will write 12 here and we are going to store it in another variable. And when we'll print our ARR2 variable, so you will see again it is converted into a 1D array. So you, we can check its dimension. So it is a one dimensional array. Now, one important thing about this reshape is that first of all, we have taken 12 elements. So, so when we want to convert it into two dimensional, so here you will see I have taken 2,6. So if I will take 2 comma 5 and when I will execute the code, you will see it is throwing an error that cannot reshape array of size 12 into shape 2 5. Why this error has occurred? Because you can convert it only uh, in such a way that the multiplication of the given rows and columns means here if it is 6 then the multiplication of 2 and 6 will be 12. So this 12 should match with this number of element present in 1D array. So we can we can give it 3 and 4 also means 3 rows and 4 columns. So when we will execute the code, it will run. But when we will give here some another number so that the multiplication of 9 into 3 is 27. So it is not equal to 12. So it will throw an error. So we have to remember this thing that we can only give uh, this two uh, values here, the value of rows and columns, so that the multiplication of these two values should be equal to the number of elements present in our 1D array. So suppose if I'll give you a 10 and now I'll give you a two rows and five columns and when I'll execute the code, so it will be executed because here the total elements in 1D array is 10 
and the multiplication of these two rows and columns is also 10. So it will execute. So this was about the reshape. Now, one more thing uh, is there about reshape that is, I'll show you. That is what, that it will uh, take the column or the row by itself. Now, how it will do that? It can do that, that suppose I want two rows, but I, I want that the computer should take uh, the column by itself. So what I'll do, I'll just write minus one on the column part. And when I'll execute the code, you will see that it is taking uh, five columns. Now I'll check with a different, so suppose I'll give here 14 and I want two rows and then I want that it should take the number of columns by itself. So you can see here that seven columns has been created as seven into two is 14. That's right. Now suppose if I want to, I want that that the row should be taken by itself. So I'll do what I'll write minus one in the row section. And when I'll execute the code, you will see now this time the rows are seven and the columns we have uh, given here two. So the column will be remain two, but the, uh, but the rows is taken by itself and it is taken seven because seven into two is 14. So this was all about the reshape that how we can reshape from 1D to 2D and then two dimensional to one dimensional and then how we can take the column and row itself. Now we'll see the seed function. So what is the seed function? So basically seed function is that whenever we want to print the rand arrays of random integers, so what happens each time when we, when we execute the code, it generates different codes. But suppose if I want uh, to generate codes randomly, but fixed on uh, fixed numbers of elements so that the elements should be fixed so that if I uh, run my program in one PC, so the numbers which are occurring randomly should be same if I'll run the code in another PC also. So I'll show you how it can be done. So for using it, we have to just simply write random. So first of all, we have to call the numpy and we are calling the numpy as np. So np.random, then we'll use the seed function and we'll write here 12 or you can give any number. And I'll show why uh, we can give here any number and what does this number means. Now we will create a variable and inside this variable, we are going to create a random in uh, array and for creating random array, we know we have to use np.random.random int function. Now we want from one, uh, start from one end till uh, end to 50 and total numbers of elements I want that is 10. And then for executing the code, I'll give the my variable name and when I'll execute it, you will see that 12, 28, 7, 3, 4, 4, 13, 49, 23, 6. These are my elements. And now when I'll execute the code again and again, you will see that it will remain same. Now, why this is happening? Because of this 12. Now, when I'll give 11 here, the number will be changed. But when I'll give 12, you will see that the number is same. Then again, I'll give it. 11 it is starting from 26 17 now when i'll give 12 you'll see it is starting from 12 so what happens when we use this function so basically this function does that it saves your uh, elements on this number on the number you have given here suppose on 12 i have given 12 28 7 3 4 4 13 49 23 and 6 so it will remain this when we'll give uh, this functionality here means will in another computer if we'll give one to start from one to 50 and then we want 10 elements and when we'll give 12 here so these random integers will be uh, same in another computer also.
So for getting a same value of the random integers, we use this seed functions. So I hope you have understood this. Now we are going to move to the next part that is how to create a 1D array by taking input from the user. So I'll write here that create 1D array from taking input from the user. Now I'll show you that how we can create. So for creating a 1D array, first of all, we will create, first of all, we have to import the NumPy library. So we'll import the NumPy library as NP. Then we will take a blank list and then, and then we'll take the total size of the elements. So for that, we'll take input from the user. And we'll simply prompt that enter the size. Now, using the loop, we'll say that for i in range size, do what? Take the input of the values. It will be also taken in integer format. And we'll say enter a number. Then what we'll do, we'll just uh, append the values, append these values into our list that is A. So for that, what we'll do, we'll just simply write A dot append. Then inside the append, we'll give the our values so that they will get stored there. Now till, the, till here, our list has been created. Our list will get created with the numbers. Now what we're going to do, now we'll move to our the next part that is converting the list into array. So for that, first we'll create a variable and then we'll call the array function. And inside the array function, we'll give our list that is A and then we'll print our array. And when I'll execute the code, it is asking for enter the size. So I'll give the size five. Now it is asking for the numbers which we are going to enter. So I'll give random numbers. And you will see our array with five elements and the numbers which we have entered these numbers has been entered here and our 1d array has been created by taking input from the user now we'll see the 2d array that how to create 2d array by taking input from the user So first of all, we have to import NumPy. Then we'll create a blank list with a name matrix because 2D array, two dimensional arrays are called matrices. That's why. And then we are going to take input for the number of rows and that will be in integer format. So we'll take it in integer and then prompt here, enter the number of rows then same for the columns as well okay and what we'll do, we'll use the for loop. So for i in range rows or only row, we have given only row here. What we are going to do, we'll create one another list for the rows for the row. And then we'll take a nested loop for the columns. So for range call. What we'll do, we'll take the value for the numbers.
and then we are going to append the values append these val means append these values which is will be taken in column wise into our list into our row list that is a and then what we will do we will take this row that is a so we will take this a into our matrix so till here our two dimensional list has been created now what we have to do we have to simply convert this list into array for that we have to create a variable so i'll create a variable arr and then i'll use the array function and i'll just simply give matrix here and then i'll print the arr and when i'll execute the code so you will see it is asking for the enter the number of rows i'll give two here then it will ask for the enter the number of columns i'll give three then it is asking for the numbers so i'll simply give and you will see that our two rows and three columns arrays have been printed now i'll explain you what is happening in this so first we have import our library that is numpy then we have taken a matrix a list which of matrix with the name matrix okay now we are taking input from the user for the rows and columns then we have taken a for loop for the rows and inside this loop we are for the rows we are making a blank list now we have taken a nested loop for the columns and inside this we are going to take the values of the elements so for that we have created a variable val and inside this we are storing our uh, the values of the elements and then using the append function we are appending this value into our row list that is this a and after a row is gets completed in this loop means after this loop is completed then what will happen then this a will be uh, completed and then what we are doing then uh, after coming out of uh, this nested loop in the main loop what we are doing we are storing this a into this main list that is our matrix using this line matrix dot append a and then till here our two dimensional list has been completed and then here what we are doing we have created a variable arr and using the array function of the numpy we are just giving this list inside this array function and this and then this list of matrix has been converted into array and you will see that our array has been printed here so i hope you like this video so thanks for watching the video